So thank you, Dr. Aginbe. Um, good morning. Uh, so I would like to uh, give you some data regarding this phase three study uh, comparing uh, VTD versus VTD plus daratumumab in the setting of uh, autologous stem cell transplantation, frontline treatment of young patients. Uh, this study is an academic study uh, sponsored by the French cooperative group IFM uh, together with the uh, Dutch cooperative group Hovon. And uh, as you know, stem cell transplantation in Europe and in many countries uh, around the globe uh, is standard of care as part of frontline treatment for young patients. VTD, the combination of bortezomib, thalidomide and dexamethasone uh, prior to and also after stem cell transplantation is also a triplet that is uh, widely used, standard of care in Europe. But right now we don't know what is the impact of daratumumab, a monoclonal antibody targeting CD38, uh, in the setting of stem cell transplantation. So this study is the first one looking at the impact of daratumumab for young patients treated aggressively with autologous stem cell transplantation. So this is a study design, very simple design, VTD before and after stem cell transplantation, plus or minus daratumumab uh, in patients less than 66 years of age uh, with uh, symptomatic multiple myeloma. So the study has two parts. The part one uh, is to look with the uh, primary endpoint stringent CR uh, at the uh, 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 response rate after consolidation. And then the second part uh, is a maintenance phase with daratumumab versus no daratumumab maintenance. And here, uh, during the meeting, we are showing the results, the final results of the uh, first part of the study. So in terms of response, uh, we are showing that uh, daratumumab is highly increasing uh, the response rate. The stringent CR rate is highly uh, improved, but also uh, the uh, MRD negativity rate. And uh, we have a very strict definition of stringent CR. And uh, you see that uh, the uh, uh, addition of daratumumab is also increasing uh, the complete response rate. Uh, this quality of response, this depth of response, translates into a better progression-free survival. Uh, you see here the 18-month uh, PFS, 93% in the DARA arm of the study. Those results are the best ever reported in the setting of stem cell transplantation. Uh, of note, we have enrolled more than 1,000 patients into the study in less than two years in uh, 111 sites. So you can see that the huge involvement uh, in uh, the Netherlands, in Belgium and in France uh, to uh, uh, try to answer to this very important question. So the hazard ratio is less than 0.5 uh, and we have here a very important benefit for the patients. Uh, the, uh, the median follow-up is 18 months <clears throat> so the overall survival data are immature, but nevertheless, we are already uh, seeing a trend for a better overall survival in the DARA arm of the study, and the two-year overall survival is 97% in the DARA arm. For patients with symptomatic myeloma, those results are really unprecedented results, to my opinion. So, in conclusion, we are showing that uh, the addition of the atumumab on top of VTD in the setting of stem cell transplantation is increasing the response rate, the MRD negativity rate, translating into a progression-free survival benefit. Uh, in terms of toxicity, uh, no uh, additional toxicity when using daratumumab in the setting of stem cell transplantation. For the stem cell harvest, we looked also carefully at hematopoietic constitution uh, after stem cell transplantation, and there was really no issue uh, with the uh, use of daratumumab. So this study is the pivotal study for the approval of daratumumab, not only in the US, but also in Europe and in many other countries uh, in the setting of stem cell transplantation. So currently we are awaiting for uh, the, uh, uh, the responses of EMA, of FDA, but VTD-DARA is already approved and used based on our study in Brazil, for example. And, uh, well, I don't have the paper published in the New England Journal of Medicine, unfortunately, but it was published on the day of the presentation at ASCO in the Lancet. That's not so bad, in fact. <laughs> thank you for your kind attention. Well, thank you very much for this uh, great study that you just presented. Questions to uh, the speaker. 
Do you consider this now to be the standard of care from now on when we go home, or is it still too early to promote that? No, I think that if approved and if reimbursed, because in Europe we have many uh, issues regarding the cost and the reimbursement of, of drugs and combination, uh, for sure we will uh, consider DARA VTD a standard of care. Uh, VTD is standard of care in many, many countries in Europe, and uh, uh, well, given those results, I think that yes, uh, definitely. Good. Very good. Thank <music> you.